For the replacement of the delivery valves, seals and pistons on the Evolution 1 pump produced by Interpump, we use an extension for a ratchet spanner, a ratchet spanner with a socket size 14, a long nose plier, a T-wrench size 5, grease. Kit dolly spare part valves by Hydrobase Group's Club Day Riparatori. First, unscrew the three caps from the head top. With a long nose plier, remove every single valve. After removing the old valves and the O-rings, take a new valve kit of the Club Day Reparatori and start inserting the new O-rings in each housing, taking care to put them properly on the bottom. Then, put the new valves in each housing using a little pressure to fit them well into the seat. Tighten the three caps with a ratchet spanner and the socket size 14. For the replacement of the suction valves on the Evolution 1 pump, proceed as follows. First, loosen the caps with a ratchet spanner and the socket size 14. In order to work easily, remove the head by using a T-wrench size 5. Pull the screws out of the head, unscrew the loosened caps. With a long nose plier, remove one by one the O-rings and the old valves. Insert the new O-rings in each housing, taking care to put them properly on the bottom. Then put the new valves in each housing using a little pressure to fit them well into the seat. Tighten the three caps with a ratchet spanner and the socket size 14. To replace seals, firstly remove the old low pressure water seals. Remove then the packing retainers and the high-pressure water seals. Replace the worn O-rings with the new ones around the packing retainers. Insert the new dolly spare parts seals by Hydrobase Group's Club de Riparatori using some grease to fit them easier. Seals must be carefully placed in their seat in the head. Insert the white discs and then the packing retainers using some grease to fit them easier. Take the black low-pressure water seals and place them inside the packing retainers. Finally, apply some grease around the seals to ease their insertion into the plunger. To replace the plunger, loosen the screws with a wrench size 8 and remove the broken plungers. Apply some Loctite on the screws and then insert them into the plungers for the sealing.
place the plungers gently, otherwise the ceramic casing may break. After replacing the water seals, reassemble the pump head. Place the screws to fix the head. After inserting the screws in their seat, tighten them to fix them. As regards the testing a procedure, turn on the test station and insert the machine's code. The test station finds automatically the data corresponding to those of the machine. Press the Run key of the test station, which is now ready for the testing procedure. Press the Start key so that the test station can perform the electrical checks. Connect the water supply hose and the delivery hose and then place on the gun's outlet the right nozzle according to the machine's pressure and flow. It is now time to turn on the machine. Regulate the unloader valve up to the machine's nominal pressure, which can be controlled through the pressure gauge placed on the machine and on the test station. After calibrating the valve, lock the maximum pressure point by raising the ring nut and stop the grain inside it. The testing procedure ends with the release of the machine's pass test report.